Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to BIM House Radio Live from the BIM House in Amsterdam. Tonight, we'll present to you Kendrick Scott's Oracle. With his band Oracle, he will perform music from his album A Wall Becomes a Bridge. A 12-part song cycle about overcoming obstacles, both personal and collective. In Oracle, he gives room to great talents from the New York scene. They contributed new compositions to the album, bringing together influences from jazz, hip-hop and rock. Michael Moreno on the guitar, Taylor Eichstein on the piano, Joe Saunders on the bass and Kendrick Scott on the drums. Enjoy the concert! Our teachers, um, as much as we love our embodied teachers that come in flesh and bone and sit on cushions, are really the people, the situations that we confront moment to moment, day to day, month to month, year to year, that incite a sense of discomfort, disease, awkwardness in us. And rather than seeing those moments as threats to who we are, if we could reorient, if we could center in our relationship to ourselves as evolving, fluid, ever-expansive creatures whose role is to be in observation of what is that? What has that inspired? What has that called forth in me, that discomfort, that is speaking to something that feels solid and fixed and is now challenged in its location? If we could do that, if we could live in our lives in a way in which we understand that our deepest learning, our deepest capacity for growth comes not from walling ourselves off from the things that make us feel a sense of threat or discomfort or out of alignment or out of sorts, but rather figuring out what it is speaking to us when we feel those things and what do we have from a lower level to a higher Thank you. 
Thank you so much. That was a piece written by Taylor Ixty. Give it up for Taylor Ixty. That one was called Motion. And the next piece that we're going to play for you is a piece that I wrote for all the people in our lives that take us out of the space where we're too much in our heads. And um, for me, that's a lot. Um, when I was creating this record, uh, my great friend and, uh, and bass player Derek Hodge was there for me. He produced the record and I came to him and I said, you know what, I hate everything that I wrote. I hate the way I play. I don't want to make a record. And he said, you know what, let's make a record about insecurity and fear. <laughs> I said, what? And he, yes, that's, that's him calling. He's calling right now. Wow, that's really impressive. <laughs> that's really impressive. And that was the next song. So I guess we'll go on now already did that song so um but he said you know what let's make a record about that and he will, he's been a great catalyst in my life as well as the band members here to help me realize that you have to go on you have to create no matter how you're feeling you know the um the work is is the work has to be done <laughs> You know what I mean? And and the more I realize that, the more I surrender to it. So this is a tribute to all of those people. You're probably sitting next to one right now in your life, your friends and your family and all of those people that are in your life that are catalysts. So this is called Catalyst.
feature our wonderful basis on a piece that pretty much sums up what the record is. It's kind of, uh, for me personally, it's about the voices in your head, the one that says no and the other one that says yes. The one that's telling me, sit down and shut up and play. And the one that's like, no, talk about the music. <laughs> so I'll do both.
Thank you so much. Give it up for Taylor Ixty on the piano. Mike Moreno on the guitar. Joe Sanders on the bass. Thank you so much. We were very honored that the Chamber Music of America um, uh, granted us with a grant uh, a couple of years ago and we got to uh, write some music and play that music. And then the theme of that music was Dash. And um, I, it was an unfortunate event when I went to a friend of mine's mother's funeral and the pastor was eulogizing her and he said, it wasn't about her, her birth date or her death date. It was about what she did in between those two, the dash, and how she lived her dash, the people that she touched, and the things that she did, that she left for us. And so that really touched me for years, and I've been thinking about that for years. So I wrote music, and I dedicated it to different people. Um, this next piece that we are about to play, I dedicated this to Wayne Shorter. He's been a, yeah, give it up for Wayne. He's been such an integral piece in my development as a musician. And um, whenever I'm around him and watching him, he is always talking about courage. And uh, as I think about courage, it's one of those things that you can witness but not measure. So I named this Witness But Not Measured. Thank you.
playing for you? It's uh, from that same suite of music. And this is dedicated to my nieces and nephews. Wayne is like 90 years old and they're young, right? They're like between six and 26, something like that. It's eight of them, I keep forgetting their ages. But um, this is for them, I always think about what world will they be living in after we're gone. So this is for them, this is called Archangel. We have hand signals, so this, it means this.
Thank you so much. We're going to play one more for you. This is an older composition of mine entitled Synchrony. But before we do that, give it up for Joe Sanders on the bass. <laughs> Taylor Ixty on the piano. And Mike Moreno on the guitar. Thank you so much for having us here. This is one of my favorite places in the world to play. So it means a lot that you accepted me and the band. Put on the drums.
Thank you again so much. Mike Moreno, Joe Sanders, and Taylor Ike Steve. Thank you. Thank you.